Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor and one of my sponsors, Masterworks, has just added another painting and this uh, they've, they're putting these cool videos up where they tell you briefly about what it is. Our latest offering is a monumental work entitled Promised Land, created by Mark Bradford in 2012. Bradford is one of the most important and influential American artists working today, and notably, represented the United States in the American Pavilion at the 57th Venice Biennale in Pretty cool stuff. They put these videos up so you can kind of get uh, people like me that don't know as much about it. You can kind of get an idea of um, what these pieces are about and who the artist is and all. Anyway, you can find, I'll put a link to this in the top of the description if you want to check Masterworks out. Okay, check it out from Dark Defender. Hi there all, we expected a reversal last week and it has been delayed. XRP had a nine weekly red can candles in a row for the first time and the weekly wave trend is indicating that XRP is oversold. Reversal is close. Have a great weekend. I will be having a great weekend. Um, now, I have gone, there's a uh, conference that it's called, I think it's called the SALT Conference. It was done in the Bahamas um, over the weekend i got a oof my arm i've got a big bruise on my arm i got i was putting together a uh, bed last night and i got hit with the the headboard in my forearm and it, i can feel it now okay anyway um so this now the, the clip i'm about to show you is really good now these are all most of these people are they're they're bitcoin maxis and they're talking about all this but what's important that you understand is that Bitcoin is just the opening act, folks? I believe Bitcoin and Ethereum were the their their uh, these opening act slash um, tests, but they're they're this is what Wall Street is gonna they're gonna bring it in like this, and we're I've said it for a long time. We're talking we're not talking some money. We're talking about all the money. We're talking about the asset class of asset classes. And for, for those of you that get discouraged when you have pullbacks and all this stuff, you have to understand the, this is, the regulations are going to come. There's not a Gary Gensler on the planet Earth who can stop what's coming. And I want you to listen to, this is Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank, and he, this is an adult conversation. If you want to understand, if you want to understand why... I never get flustered and I always buy dips when I'm able to do so. This is why he's going to tell you what what is going to happen. This asset to be a part of the real investment world is to get it regulated. Any of these assets, any, pick one. I personally would like to see stable coins regulated first because it's easier to do that. But whatever happens, we need regulation because then here's why this works. So. You want to have a 1% weighting in a $100 billion fund. A fund like that would have no more than 20% in any one of the 11 sectors of the S&P and no more than 5% weighting in any one stock or bond. That is a classic diversification strategy for long sovereign wealth where trillions and trillions of dollars live every day. And so they would like to have 1% to 3% in Bitcoin. It's the one they want to start with. It's the granddaddy crypto. It's the one that's the, the biggest opportunity and the one that frankly the managers understand because it's been in front of everybody since the beginning of cryptocurrencies. If we get that regulated, they'll start putting on 50 to 100 basis point weightings and then what you'll see happen, besides increased demand, you'll see less volatility because when you have a 1% allocation, it sells down you buy back to 1% by market close. And of course, crypto is 24 seven. So they'll buy it back up to 1%. If it exceeds, if it jumps and doubles in price, they'll sell it back down. But they are the market. They are the bid forever. And everybody else benefits from the fact that the stability and the volatility is reduced dramatically. And the price will be significantly higher over time if, you know, Mooch is right. And this is a property, they'll allocate it like they do real estate. And they could, in the context of crypto, go up to 20%. And I personally believe 
that crypto in the next decade will become the 12th sector of the S&P because it is so strong a potential for reduction in fees, transparency, auditability, and just better financial services globally that it'll make its way there. But it can't happen until somebody starts to regulate it. Now, good news, we've got the Loomis bill, we have the Haggerty bill, we've got the Toomey bill, we've got bipartisan effort. I think all three of us have been to the Hill multiple times to talk to these senators, to talk about, give us the code, regulate it, and then when that happens, Katie, bar the doors. Watch what happens. I think it's that simple. Uh, I have a few, a few thoughts here. Um, I think that's so true. You've been, but you, you've been just watching the politicization of this thing and the Gary Genslers of the world trying to make sure they do it right for their Wall Street buddies like J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs. Now, um, this is Kathy, I think her name's Kathy Wood, who, she's a very smart lady, and but she's a Bitcoin maxi. And what she says here, I agree with. I think Bitcoin is going to eventually go to a million dollars. There's too many Wall Street people behind it at this point. But she makes one comment about how she thinks it's going to get all the remittances. And I said, only if it runs on the XRP ledger of the Stellar Network. She's sitting beside Mike Novogratz, who by pure coincidence is in a snake jacket. Anyway, watch. Walk us through some of the, the data and factors you're looking at and how do you get from 38,000 to a million yeah. bucks in a decade, less than a decade? Yeah, less than a decade. Um, so uh, you will find the building blocks of this in our Big Ideas 2022 mm -hmm. um, uh, presentation. It's on our site, arc-invest.com. Uh, but the, the largest... Uh, 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 the, the largest component of that is we do believe that uh, Bitcoin will usurp 50% of gold's role. This is digital gold. So that's roughly a $5 trillion opportunity right there. Uh, so the, the smallest one is remittances. Uh, we think that it will take most of the remittance market. The remittance market is a $600 billion market. We have insurance policies, high net worth individuals watching, you know, confiscation of wealth. Right. And with all the term... You're about to hear the tornado siren uh, goes off at 12 o'clock every day, every Saturday. In emerging markets and elsewhere, um, you know, the middle... We're, we're going to power through it. Who knew that MBS was going to take his cousin's wealth away? So don't they wish they had some Bitcoin and uh, private keys? So uh, the the uh, also companies uh, uh, allocating some of their cash or diversifying some of their cash into uh, Bitcoin. We've seen Tesla do that, uh, Coinbase, Square. Uh, of course, microstrategy, right. uh, and you're going to have you're going to see some countries putting uh, Bitcoin into their treasury. Right. We assume only one percent, um, but uh, so w if you look at the building blocks, and and then finally institutional, how much will institutional investors account for this? Uh, well, we assume that institutional investors will put two and a half percent of their uh, uh, allocation to Bitcoin. Right. Uh, and that isn't even as big as the global digital gold opportunity. Let me ask you a question. What are institutional investors going to do with XRP once it has clarity? Th I believe that's a big part of the reason that they, you've had so many forces trying to stop XRP. If XRP had clarity alongside Bitcoin, if Bitcoin got anywhere near, well, first of all, it probably wouldn't get anywhere near a million. They need XRP to be put down because bit, there's no reason to own Bitcoin if you have clarity for XRP. There's just not. Because XRP does everything that Bitcoin can't do and it's a store of value if you want it to. What will those institutions do once XRP has clarity? Think about this. How many times has Brad Garlinghouse said, yeah, I talk to all these guys all the time, these banks, and, all, and they said, we just can't do anything with XRP until it has clarity. That is the worst nightmare of these Bitcoin maxis. XRP $100 is nothing in that scenario, okay? That's why I say all this Bitcoin stuff has been one big freaking lie. Now, I believe that 
all of this stuff at some point here is going to get clear. I believe, I believe a lot of these people have been able to take advantage of a market where they knew for however many years, five years, whatever, only Bitcoin and Ethereum would have clarity. I think that when that le that playing field is leveled, it is, I think then it's Katie bar the door as, as Mr. Wonderful said. Now, how could we show you all of this without showing you the gall of this guy? So Mike Novogratz takes two weeks off after the Luna collapse. And remember, Mike Novogratz told you he just didn't understand XRP, but he totally got Luna. That makes complete sense, right? It, it makes so much sense he went out and got a tattoo of Luna. Well, well, Mike Novogratz is back, and he's back making predictions. Just just took him two weeks. Uh, it just, his, it, his ego only needed two weeks off before he came back out and started telling everybody what's going to happen in crypto. And the crazy part is that these people at the SALT conference, they didn't even ask him about Luna. How do you put this guy on stage in his snake jacket without asking him that? Here he is. Uh, for maybe more of a, a Wall Street audience as well. Mike, we'll start with you. What's most exciting? Listen, I think we're going to see this year prices range because I think the macro environment is going to be difficult, but you're going to continue to see adoption. And so, like I told my company, this is build, build, build. Like, I don't think this is going to be a year where prices explode north. Uh, but the industry needs far better user interface, user experience. And so, like, you actually, I like... You know. All right, that's enough of that. And I thought it was entirely appropriate to show you after that that just in, the Luna 2.0 is down 80% after the launch hours ago. So these people, not only is XRP dangerous and you can't put it on your exchanges, there's a whole laundry list of the, the same exchanges that won't that think XRP is too dangerous that didn't just have Luna and relist Luna while, while the collapse is going on, but now are going to list Luna 2.0 because that is safe to them. They think that's safe for their customers, just XRP is not, okay? Where's Gary Gensler, Hester Pierce, Allison Heron Lee, when they're needed by these investors that they claim to protect? Now, I wanted to show you something briefly. Um, this was sent to me, TAIG, Digital Asset Investor. We follow each other, but it just so happens I can't see your tweets. So there's shadow banning going on and Digital Perspectives picked up on it too. And he said this. Pay close attention to everybody. TAIG alerted us that there's shadow banning happening on Twitter. There's also unfollows happening as well. I've been following crypto law since they had a page. Now it's saying on Twitter that I'm not. Ridiculous. Unfortunately for my children, we live in a world where they want you to think that lies are the truth and truth are lies. We're the only ones in crypto that I can tell that are telling you the 100% truth. And someone doesn't want you to know the truth about Bitcoin and Ethereum and disguised whales, hidden disguised whales in the ICO. They don't want the truth out. And so for that reason, I guess we're getting banned. Maybe the SEC does not want anybody to know the truth about what kind of a, uh, an organization they are. Well, we're going to keep telling the truth. Breaking, Russian Ministry of Finance is discussing using crypto in international settlements. There are no coincidences, folks. Reminder, one of my sponsors, Kava Rise, is live at Kava underscore platform. Uh, I'll put this towards the top of the description. $750 million in developer incentive program is open to all DeFi, NFT, GameFi builders looking to deploy on Cosmos, they've even got a um, Medium article um, that lays out what they're doing, you can, how, how to complete the registration. So go check this out. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends and family to check out Kava Rise Developer Incentive Program.